Welcome to another Dark Nook video. In this video, I'm taking one of my beta masks and converting it into the new version where Beta has sewn half of Alpha's face onto his own mask. Thanks for checking out my video, and please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment down below. So I started by painting latex onto my sculpting form. Because this has a nice smooth texture, I could paint latex onto the left side of the form, then flip it inside out and use it on the right side of the mask and that smooth texture would now face out. Sorry, my white balance didn't quite know what to do with this. I'm sorry about the flickering. I cut and trimmed it, and then I folded up the edges. I repeated this process three times to eliminate any of the texture from the original mask from showing through. Once I had the shape of the alpha side where I wanted it, then I started on the beta side. I took some cotton dipped in latex and re-sculpted the surface to make it a little more true to the on-screen look. This technique is perfect for doing wrinkled texture and rotten looking skin. And once it's dry, it bonds securely with the latex underneath. Thank you. 
I used a leather awl to dig out little holes where I'd put the stitches and to add surface details and textures that I wanted to really bring out in this uh, mask. Then I added little bits of latex to make the stitches. Once it was all dry, I started on paint. Now paint was a bit of a challenge with this mask, because I wanted to base out the rotten side in black and the more fleshy side in red. While you might not see much of the base color showing through on the final product, it does affect the colors that you put over it. They'll seem warmer or darker, depending on what the base color is, because while you don't realize it, most paint is somewhat transparent and you'll see a little bit a little hint of the details that you put under it so if you paint in layers keep this in mind for a better effect so I didn't want to get any overspray from the dark dead side onto the lighter flesh side so I had to be very mindful of overspray After I based out both sides, I added some dark blue vein details to the fleshy side, and then a top coat of flesh tone. Thank you. 
After that, I added some red spattering to break up the colors and a little dusting of green. Flesh tone always has green. People don't realize this. And when you see flesh tone that doesn't look quite right, it doesn't look like skin, that's why. Almost all skin has little hints of green in it and we never realize that. So always add a little tiny bit of green to your flesh tone to make it look more realistic. Then after that, it was just a matter of filling in some of the edges and adding some of the details and painting the stitches. Once the paint was dry, I laid on some hair using rubber cement. Thank you. 
and here it is all finished i hope you enjoyed this video please like subscribe and leave a comment and thanks for checking out my channel <laughs>